Well, welcome back to the Pig Trail Show, and we now have Lucas Coley joining us, a commitment for the Arkansas class of 2021. And I know that a lot of high school uh, football teams right now going through very unprecedented times when it comes to playing games and their schedules and their seasons. But I think, Lucas, your story and your teammate's story is one uh, that is definitely different than anyone else's experience. So I don't want to steal your thunder. Kind of talk us through exactly, again, being in Texas and San Antonio going to a private school, how things unfolded for you guys? Well, for us, early in the season, early in the offseason, we actually joined a league. That way we would have playoffs this year. Mm -hmm. Last year we were an independent school, so we would just play 10 games and leave it at that. This this year we had 10 solid games, uh, two defending state champions on the schedule and four other teams that have won. But, you know, as COVID hit, games would drop and every single week since August coach would have to have to find new games every single week. Uh, we played our first league game and won by like 78 points and um, that the whole league ended up forfeiting. So that kind of messed up the rest of our schedule as far as games go, because we had to find new teams that had COVID cases with their opponents. So they had to fill in their games. And so that, that's kind of how our season went. And we just kind of went with the flow and competed every week. What about you specifically? How do you feel you grew as a quarterback in this very different senior season? Um, as far as I go, I have, I have a great OC, Coach William Stansel, and uh, he just kind of helped me understand the game of football a lot deeper than, you know, the surface. And uh, I feel like that's what's helped and dealing with recruiting and stuff. You're on Zoom meetings for two hours every day in the summer. So you just learn a lot about the game of football that you never even knew some of the stuff that, like, you talked about. You guys finished nine and one, and if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, the season is over for you guys now. Yes, ma'am. So, so what's that like? You go nine and one, and and now you get to watch some other schools finish off the Texas playoffs, and and you guys are kind of done. Uh, it's, it's frustrating because I think we could compete with any team that you know plays in Texas right now, and you know that's what we did all year. We went out there and competed. So, I mean, it sucks, but it's also a blessing. We all. We had no major injuries throughout the year, so everybody played hard, played well, and, you know, played safe at the end of the day. So it's a blessing in disguise. So the next time you put on a football uniform, it's going to have a Razorback across the chest. Your commitment to this 2021 class, as we mentioned before, how excited are you to get your college career going? I'm extremely excited. I get up there in two months, and, you know, I'm just really focused. And, you know, first day after the season ended, you know, we're working out and grinding, so – it's really, it's a business move, and I'm just ready to work. You remind me a lot of a guy named Connor Nolan, and I don't know if that name rings a bell for you, but he was a quarterback commitment here a couple years ago, now a ace for the baseball team. But he's done, he did what you have done, and once you committed, <laughs> you have you've reached out to a lot of guys that Arkansas is trying to recruit. You've been like an ambassador for this yeah. football team. Why did you feel like that was a role you wanted to take on? Uh, I mean, as a quarterback, that's what you're supposed to do. And regardless of what people think, you're supposed to be the leader on the field who does the extra stuff that's not asked. So uh, I just felt like it was needed by me because we have the right coaching staff in place that, you know, wants to grind, wants to get better, and they know the game, and they've can't come to prove that all year. So as far as me doing my job, I just have to bring the players. And lastly, I know a lot of recruits really appreciate you reaching out and, and being a voice for this Arkansas football team. But, hey, Arkansas on the field is doing work as well and proving why they're someone to take seriously nationally. What's it like to see this team now 3-3 three and three on the year? I mean, it's actually very, very exciting. Going into the year, everybody's had Arkansas bottom of the bottom of the totem pole. And uh, now it's kind of fun to watch us go in there, compete with a and compete with Georgia for the first half. We're actually up. Uh, who else? Who do we lose to? Who else? Uh, well, that Auburn game, but you know, some Arkansas fans. Will yeah, you know, it, <laughs> and, and everybody knows the story on that. So we're supposed to be four and two on the year. Yeah. Uh, a very good A and M team and a very good Georgia team. Two teams who compete in the top ten every single week. So I just feel like we got everything in place, and we just got to keep building on it and stay focused. Well, Lucas Coley, thank you for sharing some of your story with us. We appreciate it. And I know a lot of Hog fans excited for you and your future at Arkansas. Thanks so much for the time. Awesome. Thank you. The Pig Trail Show will roll on after this.